Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. We're on location at Uwari Crystalline. I wanna introduce you guys to the two potters that work here. This is Pam and William, and they're giving us a behind the scenes tour. So talk to me, Pam. I'm gonna get close to you just so okay, the viewers sure. can hear you. So our, our shop is, if you ever come to visit, is set up so whatever we're making that day, you physically get to see it doing it, whether it's glazing or whatever. Um, so it's a mess on one side and it's a mess on the other side too, but it's, it's fun. So come in, uh, we grow crystals in our glaze, which is what they were wanting to know about, but um, we'll look around and yeah, let Lisa guide us where we want to do. I just right. want to see everything. So yeah. It's, so it's, this is their work inside, y'all. Cool. Y'all have got a lot of inventory. One man's mess is another man's treasure, right? And then here is their working area. And then, oh, wow, look at that vase. Isn't that beautiful? And there's Janet. <laughs> Let me just show y'all what they've got. These come out of the kiln today, actually. These pieces on the table here. We have a kiln open at almost every day. Now, this that is, is that beautiful. Oh, that's oh, beautiful. So we grow crystals in our glaze. You can see them pretty good on this one. I'll try to pick. Well, you see them good on this one. That's what the patterns are. They look like flowers. Mm -hmm. We uh, Zinc oxide gives it the crystal growing capability, and the crystals grow in the kiln at about 2,000 degrees. Wow. We cannot see where the crystals are going to grow, how many is going to grow, or even if they grow. It all happens, like I said, at 2,000 degrees, and we never know what we're going to get until we open the kiln each and every time. So we can control color, but that's the only thing we can control, which Very makes cool. it never get old. But um, So this is another fascinating part a lot of people don't get to see. So to grow the crystals, you have to get the glaze at a molten state. So at 2300 degrees, the glaze turns into a glass and it literally runs off. So for each and every piece, no matter how big or how small, we got to catch that glaze with the tray. But guess what our problem is now? The They're off. welded together. So pliers is our tool of choice. Hopefully it'll break well. And it did. And it did. So this will break off and then we'll take them out back and grind them back flat, um, which is just part of it to get it to work. And our name is underneath that powder, all that comes off. Um, nice. So yeah, it's just another extra step we have to do to get our process to work. But it's cool. really fascinating to get to see that. Part. It so, is. So yeah. But, oh, yeah. tell me about but, these teeth. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> these are real teeth, Pam. So we have a customer. <laughs> Pam, my, these my are real teeth. Jugs, and this guy, um, he does, he is a dental assistant and he actually makes teeth. And one day I asked him, I said, what do you do with those teeth that don't fit? He said, we throw them away. And I said, don't throw them away. Bring we'll them take them. them. <laughs> How cool is that? So it had, it had a top plate in here. And it actually melted away at the top temperature. I said, but just leave it. It looks like that's how it's He has it periodontal like disease, really Pam. Something. He has periodontal disease, honey. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, he's got periodontal disease. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love it. Look at this on this washstand. Isn't this beautiful? Um, all the links are um, tagged, so scroll my page, and that way you can just touch the link and get right to these potters, whichever one you're interested in. Oh my God, what a beautiful bowl is this. Oh, I love that. Check out the teeth, y'all. Oh, yes, it's a must. A meat and two, honey, you can't beat it. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Mm hmm. Everything is just one of the kinds of it. Mm hmm. Thank you so much for letting us go live. I'm going to sign off so I can really look now, y'all. Cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Thank you again. This has been a pleasure. 
leave these pieces on the table here. We have a kiln open in almost every day. Now, this that is, is not beautiful. pretty. That piece is sold. Uh, the guy's got a matching one that goes with it. Oh, that's Hopefully, beautiful. they're going to look good. So, we grow crystals in our glaze. You can see them pretty good on this one. I'm trying to pick. Well, you see them good on this one. That's what the patterns are that look like flowers. Mm -hmm. We uh, Zinc oxide gives it the crystal growing capability, and the crystals go in the kiln at about 2,000 degrees. Wow. We cannot see where the crystals are going to grow, how many is going to grow, or even if they grow. It all happens, like I said, at 2,000 degrees. And we never know what we're going to get until we open the kiln each and every time. So, we can control color, but that's the only thing we can control, which Very makes cool. it never get old but um so this is another fascinating part a lot of people don't get to see so to grow the crystals you have to get the glaze at a molten state so at 2300 degrees the glaze turns into a glass and it literally runs off so for each and every piece no matter how big or how small we got to catch that glaze with the tray but guess what our problem is now get the tray they're off. welded together so pliers is our tool of choice so hopefully it'll break well And it did. So this will break off and then we'll take them out back and grind them back flat, um, which is just part of it to get it to work. And our name is underneath that powder, all that comes off. Um, so yeah, it's just another extra step we have to do to get our process to work, but it's really fascinating to get to see that part. So, uh, so yeah, but yeah. Tell me about these Can you imagine? The amount of stock that they would have to have produced, the amount of pieces of pottery, when they have an event coming up or you're heading into, you know, a heavy shopping season like Christmas or these special events like the one we're at that's going to start for the public tomorrow. It's just incredible the hours they would have to put in, the different stages to get the pottery ready all the different sizes, different styles, different price points to satisfy the tourists. Oh, look at the window with all the blue glassware. Yeah. I'm just as interested in the studio spaces as I am the display areas of the final finished pieces. Big space, floor to ceiling of displays. Our crew are all here. Lisa's filming. I'm filming. What a wonderful time. Thank you, everyone.